Welcome to Ape Exotics. Today we are going to explore the natural habitat of the Mediterranean chameleon in the hope that maybe we could get to see one. chameleon species that is found in Europe and inhabits only parts of southern Europe in the late 1800. The species was introduced in Malta and it flourished throughout the island even in Gozo, Malta's sister island. We should find the Mediterranean chameleon scrambling on trees and branches since it behaves like most of the chameleons except a few it enjoys an arboreal habitat. It also uses its tail for balance and stability by wrapping it up around branches and they usually move slowly to avoid detection by predators. I've seen one. There is one beautiful specimen come here little buddy come here this is what we're looking for Mediterranean chameleon its average length is around 30 centimeters with females often being substantially larger than males the color of the Mediterranean chameleon is variable between yellow-brown to green to a dark brown. It has as well beard of scales and also hard scales on top of its back. These species are insectivores, which means they eat crickets, locusts, mantis, etc. They capture their prey by shooting out their tongue Unfortunately, when food is scarce, they will resort to cannibalism and they will eat smaller individuals of their own species. Now it's time to put back our beautiful friend. Bye. The Mediterranean chameleon are happy as solitary creatures maintaining a territory and only tolerating members of the opposite sex during the mating season. It is sexually mature within one year and the females produce one clutch of eggs per year. The mating season for the Mediterranean chameleon is from mid-July to mid-September. The animals descend to lower levels of vegetation or to the ground to search for a mate. Larger females produce more eggs and are more attracted to males who will fight over a female. The eggs are laid in the soil and take from 10 to 12 months to incubate. The hibernation period for the species ranges from late autumn to the winter. This is when food is harder to find and the temperature drops significantly. These reptiles dig burrows in the sandy soil for shelter during hibernation. While this species is still common in Malta, it is still threatened like other species by habitat loss, predation by domestic animals, and high roadkill mortality as they cross the road very slowly. Although it is an introduced species, it is not invasive and it is very beautiful to see. I simply never get bored to watch them in their natural habitat. It is amazing to see their vital role in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. Therefore, they should be left alone with limited human interaction as possible. Thanks for watching Ape Exotics. Hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.